All right, guys, we just got to Sam's locals. We are going to destroy him. You think he's nice with his desk in there? Yo, Sam, where are you? He's gone. He's hiding already. He's scared. Sam is scared. He's going to get destroyed if I duel him. Ready to lose? Steven, you, you walked into my house. I walked into your house? Yeah, I declared. I declared war. I'm going to get clapped. Pendulum versus Despia. I'm going to get clapped. <laughs> Yo, Sam, do you know what I did yesterday at Untouch? What did you win? I sweeped them. You, you actually won? I sweeped them. 5-0. Like, you won a tournament? I won a tournament. Oh, congratulations. Tell me that you're better than all those guys. I'm sure. So your deck here, can I see the deck? Yeah, but can I like have a little quick sneaky? Bro, I, yo, look, look at this. Boom. Oh, I'm, oh. I'm very scared of that card. Yes, you very, are. very scared. It's my so scared. Yeah, that, that hand has a grand total of two and a half interruptions. No, it's I'm not. very scared. <laughs> Bro, can you be Masquerade? You can't be Masquerade. You mean the trick star card? Yeah, you can't be Masquerade. Two of them. Can't, you can't, in a prank kit deck, you can't, you can't beat this. You got not playing prank kit. Yes, you are. You're playing. I'm playing Pendulum. All right, guys, tournament's about to start. Cheer me on. Let's go. Yo, I'm winning, right? Yo, I'm winning, right? Yo, I'm winning the tournament? No one believes in me, bro. Yo, am I winning? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Someone at least believes in me. I know you guys believe in me. Let's go. All right, guys, so it is round three right now. We're one win and one draw. So far, the tournament's going nice. The deck is nice. It sucks you guys missed the last two matches. They were epic. But guess who else is has four points right now? Sam! Yo, Let's go, trip. are you ready for the battle? Trip. Are you ready for the absolute battle? Guys, Trip is a false pendulum bot, okay? Whoa! <laughs> Guys, the battle right now, Beaver Sam. The moment we've all been waiting for. Let's go. Let's go! Prank Kid Time versus Team Samurai X1! Now, wait a sec. You're gonna think you can go Triff. Another Prank Kid deck, Triff? What the heck, Triff? Why are you playing Prank Kid, Triff? Just wait your horse. Hold your horses, all right, boys? Hold your horses. I got a surprise for you guys. What is the second best deck in the world? Prank kid. What is the best deck in the world? Just I'm curious. What do you guys think is the best deck in the world? Just, just curious. What do you guys think is the best deck in the world? Well, I guess you'll just have to wait and see and figure out. Now, I make one small mistake here. The second Masquerade, I didn't realize that it wasn't properly fusion summon. I didn't know this Despia deck at all Like at this moment. Now I know it perfectly. But at the time, I didn't know what it did. So this second Masquerade is doing 1,200 damage when it really, this should only be 600 damage to me. So we should have easily overcame this, but all the prank kids effects are just destroying us right now because they're burning for 1,200. And we both didn't realize because we're both new to the deck that it was only doing 600 damage. This is a massive mistake from the both of us, you know, being new to the decks. We didn't really know like what to do there. I'm just calculating. I'm like, man, I could easily kill this board. My hand is so broken. But I can't because I was calculating for 1,200 damage each time. Ultimately, it was just game. But if it was 600 instead of 1,200, that was, we would have won that. We would have won. And it's all good. Yo, before the video begins now, before the duel be actual begins, we're down 1-0 right now. Tell me what deck you guys think I'm playing. Because I'm definitely not playing no pure prank kid trash. I threw in an, an extra engine, boys. Let's just say it's the best deck of all time. That's all I got to say. That's my hint for you guys. Comment down below if you guys think you know what I'm playing. Pendulum Prank Kids! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, baby! Prank Kids is too absolutely garbage. It needed to put in another base version like Pendulums to be able to destroy all these cards. Let's go! Now he goes Phantasmia. I'm like, I'm going to negate that guy. No, he's not playing no hand traps. Summon up Mighty Master. Go Fusion Destiny. Now, at this point, we didn't open up Prank Kids, but that's all right. We got four, four negates on field through, with five versus five cards. And we did not open up Prank Kid, but it doesn't matter. Because we are playing on the best deck, on the best mat, on the second best deck, with the best deck versus the best YouTuber versus the second best YouTuber. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's start talking about, baby. Pen best deck. That's all I got to say. Now, we're going to go on to game number three now in this match. Let's go. Cheer your boy on. This is versus my dog. Team Samurai X1. Comment below if you guys know who's going to win. If you guys th think you know who's going to win. Pendulum, Prank Kid, Brave Souls, DPE versus Branded. Let's go. I do like this new Death Be a Branded deck. I do think it's really solid. I agree with Sam where you need to play the Brave cards with it. It's really, really good together. But now you guys are about to witness some greatness. He goes Patchwork. I uh, still don't know if Patchwork is really that necessary, but I mean, it worked out very nice for him there where he was able to super, uh, activate Polly and summon those out. Goes Branded in red. So I do see how Polly can come up. I go Dark Ruler. I'm like, see you later. And he really wanted to set up Double Masquerade because Double Masquerade will just ensure that he'll be able to uh, slowly burn me for game. 
but in Wine Dark Cooler, it doesn't even matter. So here I go, Mastery. Uh, I, I calculate a little bit. I, I don't have enough spells to resolve Servant, so I just normal summon the Servant. I don't open a Prank Kid again for the second time, but that's fine because I'm just going to focus here a little bit to uh, just kill his board. I want to kill his... But I need to make sure all the problem cards are gone via DPE and uh, I'll be able to win because on my turn, uh, I know I'll have too much advantage. I'll draw three cards, one for turn, two for Celestial. So I'll be able to kill him. And he's thinking a bit here. Uh, but it just really will not be enough. Uh, because we're going to be able to have enough against him. He goes birthday. That'll burn him for 2,000. It just doesn't really matter. I have uh, prank it for turn. And we won, baby. And best deck. Let's go. Was not possible without the pendulums. I'm telling you guys. This creation I have of pendulum prank kids is just the best deck. So absolutely insane. I'll explain the synergy in the next match. Here we are, boys. In the next match over here. Facing off against my boy. TCG Sam here. Two Sams back to back. Let's go. Guys, here's the synergy of the deck. Now, he's playing a similar version here, but with Winda. The synergy of the deck is the fact that one Prank Kid card gives you two spells. It gives you Prank Kid Place. It gives you Prank Kid Pranks. And that resolves Servant and Abductor. Now, when you're going second, being able to resolve a Servant and Abductor is, is huge. Because that gets you a Souls. That gets you a, a, a Dark. That gets you Lina. That gets you whatever you want. Because you play Artemis, every single Pendulum on the deck can turn into Lina or can turn into Dark. So it's so important when breaking boards and to be able to set up a free Jackal, a free Mighty Master. Uh, a lot of decks this format have over 2800 attack. They're, they're monsters, or even DP in attack position. You could crash the Mighty Master to search Triple Tactics Talents to do crazy stuff or search Terraforming to search Mystic Mind. So going second, this does absolutely amazing things. And when you pair it in conjunction with the prank kids it's just such an amazing deck together because they're one card engines and they all synergize with brave and endymion and spells and it's just so absolutely powerful so absolutely amazing and honestly it's only possible on a servant of endymion playmat which we only have uh, i think like six or seven left right now so make sure to get yours while the supplies last in fact the entire website guys is going to be gone i'll be changing the entire website up the, with new products new merch we'll be releasing t-shirts we'll be releasing deck boxes sleeves and everything so if you guys want to take advantage of the sale right now you can get all the play mats that are available because they're going to be sold out very soon like any week now i'm going to just shut the website down and re-begin a new website to have all the deck boxes sleeves merch more play mats and everything but for the current play mats in stock get yours while supplies last guys here we're going to go the window was too much for us we almost did it but it was just a little too much here in game number two we're going to go uh into the souls he, he gammas the the uh, the the enchantress doesn't matter because we have prank kids so this is just now we have a typical pen, uh prank kid hand with souls we got good value good draws off the souls and it's gonna be fantastic here uh we're able now if we were to hand trap we're fine we go birthday we set this the, the full board up i do just set up a, a servant where i drew kind of late i do set that up there as a card i know a lot of spells are going to be activated it'll be nice to have and then I summon these out, Bow Wow, and I'm scared of Super Poly, so I use that right away. He goes evenly. I'm like, that's very unfortunate. I DPE, pop my own card, left with Pandemonium. He goes Super Poly. I'm like, that's completely fine. He goes Patchwork. I know that the window is going to be stopping him. He did Winda very uh, in a smart manner because he knows that um, none of my prankers will be able to be summoned. But I'm going to play this in a very soft way. I don't want to trigger my butler. I just go butler, but I don't use any effects. I bring this out and now I bring a DP in the draw phase and I lose to Super Poly. I play around Super Poly the entire game only to lose to Super Poly in my next turn. It looks like all hope is lost, but it's not when you're playing the best deck. It really is not. So I go Fateful. Uh, he has Snow and Grave too, I believe. And it, it, this doesn't matter. We go set up right of Amis here. I'm just going to literally bait out his cards. And the second his interruptions are gone here, I'm going to win the duel. I'm playing very carefully. I know I have a draw two coming. Uh, so I'm thinking very carefully how I'm going to be able to break this, how I'm going to be able to out this. I summoned that out. I go dark. Uh, I negated the window with Chalice, by the way, if you guys were wondering. Uh, with some of my draws, I go Souls draw two. And I was Souls draw two. My, my, my Celestia draw two was Chalice and right, I believe. And now my draw two, Souls got me Monster Reborn. Holy shit. What a card. I go Monster Reborn, Spell Power Mastery, Mighty Master, Scale the Mighty Master, Mighty Master, uh, back to blow everything up. Uh, I negate the monster card with, with Jackal. And just like that, boom, Chakalaka. When it cannot be destroyed by effects, so it doesn't matter. I go dark. Uh, I summon out dark. Sorry, not dark. I summon out Lina. He, so he didn't have a snow engrave. My bad. He uh, he enters battle. He kills the Lina. Goes gravity controller. I'm like, that's fine. I draw another chalice. <laughs> Get enough counters on the jackal to be able to kill that. And then uh, it's going to be game. So now we're going to go to game number three. Uh, time is of the essence. I think there's like four minutes left or something. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I side everything I need to for going second. 
And I'm going to stop him. Any card he puts up. I have so many go second cards. I don't play hand traps in this build. He does brick big time. He sets three. So I sp uh, go Fateful. I go Dino Wrestler. Time is of the essence. So I just enter the battle phase. I kill his uh, bounce. And I just kill it. Do enough damage. Main phase. So I go prank it. And he scoops. Pen prank it. Best deck. You already know what it is. Let's go, baby. No one could stop us. Not with this deck. Yo, Sam, what's your record? Next one, one, baby. Let's go. You're going to keep winning, bro. Ah, oh, is he in the finals, guys? Top eight today. Me versus Sam in the finals. Me versus Sam in the finals. How's your deck? Deck is fire. Your deck's fire, fire. Best deck? Better than, like, every other deck in this format? Honestly, I'm not, I'm not too sure yet. I'm not too not sure. Not too sure yet? Uh, but the deck, the deck is gas, though. It's really good. Really. Really Who else good. is gas? What? TripleGaming.com. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Go to TripleGaming.com right now. Yo, what's your record, bro? X1. X1. Yeah. So your only, your only L is to the pen god. Is that Arsenal? You want soccer? No. Oh, so it's just like, I just, Bro, like... I just bought a random mask. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Last round of Swiss is going to have go down right now. Uh, we just got to win. Yeah, I mean, we're in regardless. It's top eight, so we're going to win. I'm going to whoop it. I mean, it's just for fun so I can finish first after Swiss. You're undefeated, right? I'm undefeated, baby. Oh, my God. Wait, with Earth Machines? What the heck? How'd you guys let this man go undefeated? Oh my god. All right, guys, it's basically Earth Machines right now. We both make Top Cut, so it's just a fun duel. So it doesn't really matter, but we'll see you guys in Top Cut. This match doesn't really matter because we are both undefeated, and the winner will make Top 8. This is a Top 8 tournament. There's Top Cut. So here we go into Doodle. And our right, prank is going first, uninterrupted here. It's just going to be too much. And I, I get a lot of plus here. And the beauty of this deck and how it synergizes is, is if, I, if I do open Servant, Abductor, or Mastery, that's seven, card, seven cards. Uh, having one prank it means two spells having one in uh weight of the brave engine equals two spells so anytime i want i could trigger servant or abductor because any of these cards get two spells by itself so all i need to do to trigger any of them is either draw any scale in my deck or draw uh any single spell that way if i draw one prank it at one scale i can resolve servant i draw one enchantress or, and one scale i resolve servant if i draw upstart and one scale uh, and like one prank it i resolve servant that's the idea and the synergy of the deck also going second you're able to mighty master when you're hard drop mighty master or mastery you can make Celine so easy in this deck so you could trigger the mighty master to blow everything up going second uh that is very important even hard drawing the jackal is not the worst because in scenarios where you do not open the prank kid you have so many free extenders in this deck that tribute summoning a jackal actually non-ironically comes up a lot he bricks here uh, mastery he a droll for half the card like four cards in my hand right now are useless i have servant and three spells but we do have the one prank kid and that's gonna be our saving grace here so we have to be very smart with the cards that we activate and the way we activate them uh simply because we are under droll here but i'm still able to set up uh what we need so we go verte i must reborn the bow wow and i uh bring up dpe and then he's just gonna scoop here because he didn't have nothing and we win we're going straight to the top cut let's go Yo, this is sick games, boys. Let's go. We are undefeated after Swiss. We are 5-0 literally yesterday's tournament. We are 4-0-1 now. Let's go, bro. The deck's insane. I'm telling you guys, the deck's insane. Playing it, I'm realizing that 10 best deck. Same thing I've been telling you guys since time. What's up, guys? 10 best deck. Thank you. Let's go. We're going to get some food right now. What's up, bro? Yo, you guys have uh, jerk chicken? Uh, available right now. Awesome. Can I please get uh, two jerk chicken sandwiches in the uh, cocoa bread? Guys, this is the most amazing sandwich ever. I, I told you guys about it before. It's right beside Dolly's. Oh, sick. Yeah, I'm vlogging for my channel. Yeah, I just got 100 subs. Let's go. Yeah, my name's Farfa. Do you know Wilson? Wilson? Yeah, I just whooped his ass. Yeah, I just beat him. That's my boy. Such a nice... It was a pleasure to duel him. He's like a, such a nice guy. Yeah, my deck's just a little better. I'm playing Flunder. Top cut starting right now. Let's go. First round of top cut starting right now. This is going to be a prank kid mirror match. Let's go. That is not me. I lost the dice roll. But this match right here is really going to show you guys just how absolutely amazing our deck really is. This deck is absurd, man. I'm telling you guys, this deck is <laughs> its a problem. It is such a good deck. And when you see how I, I play against the prank kid deck, you'll understand what I'm saying. So we lose the dice roll here, right? I go mastery. I bring out servant. I, bring, I activate prank its place. I try and resolve counters on the servant. He twin twisters both. I'm like, what the fuck? This guy's bringing twin twister in the main deck? This is my dog. But guess what? Mystic mind, baby. We main deck four mystic minds. Three minds and one terraforming. This is going to force him to pass multiple turns. I look at my hand. I'm like, we're, we're in business. I'm not going to sit and wait for him to draw another twin twister. Because clearly it shows that he mains it. He goes pandemonium at this point. Brings out battle butler. I'm sorry, not battle butler. Brings out uh, about, uh, this one. And he summons out all these. And now I, I'm playing under mine in a way where uh, 
I don't care how many cards he summons, whether he summons zero or one or two or three, I have answers in my hand to mine at any time. I could get prank in place anytime I want, which I do right there with Bow Wow. I go Talents to look into his hand. Uh, at this point, I have Ghost Ogre and Ghost Bell to deal with, and he had Twin Twister in hand, which he drew up prank. So it's a good thing I went off this turn because I was screwed the next turn. So I go Fateful. Uh, what a call for me to go right away. At this point, I'm like, all right, I'm going to get a uh, serious advantage. I'm going to break his entire board and I'm going to set up a DPE and Griffin. And that's going to be game. Uh, so I set all this up. I'm not scared of my Mystic Mind because I prank it place in my hand. So I can out that literally anytime that I want. Uh, so I go into this. I go place, get that off the field. Sadly, I don't have a Servant or Abductor now. I mean, obviously, Twin Twisted it. I get more advantage. I get Verte. And it's very vital in this matchup to set up DPE as soon as you possibly can. And I end with DPE and Butler set up. So DPE and Butler set up is just too much. I understand he has he has Ghost Spell. I also understand he has Twin Twister. So in this scenario, I don't think that my uh, Butler is going to resolve. So I just keep DPE on field. Because DPE needs to out the normal summon prank kid. Because that's his only answer at the moment. Uh, sadly, he top decks right of Amicia. So this is very unfortunate. I'm like, fuck. But it's fine. Uh, what can you do? He does have a ghost spell, so I'm very careful with my interruptions here. I try and bait him to, to DPE pop. He doesn't. Uh, ghost spell could have stopped that. He twin twisters at this point. I, I literally let that resolve. Okay, I'm going to be very smart here. Now, one thing he does not know is that I have Chronograph Sorcerer in my hand. So he's actually not able to OTK me because eventually he's going to attempt uh, to go for access code and kill everything. But on the last one, I'm going to Chronograph and Chronograph is going to special out a prank kid. And that prank kid cannot be destroyed by effects. So because of that... I'm actually safe right now. I quickly go into Bow Wow before, just in case. He pops on Special Chrono and Prank Kid. In this scenario, he, what did I say? He cannot help my Prank Kid right now, except by entering Battle Phase. So he enters Battle Phase and kills them. That Chrono got saved the whole duel. That's why I played it how I did. Draw, uh, draw Phase, Special that out. He has my DPE right now. Uh, still, my Dasher Summons. It doesn't matter. I have Celestial Draw. This duel is absolutely over. Normal Prank Kid, normal meow, uh, Special Meow Effect. Uh, this game's over right now. This game's absolutely over. We played it amazing, and our pendulum card saved the day. Saved the day. Servant, abductor, everything. Chronograph sorcerer right there. Saved the day, boys. I get some more draws out here. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. At this point, it really doesn't matter. Like, this is just easy game. We're going to affect my master pop everything. Affect easy. GG. We're going to go to game number two now, and you guys are going to witness something very cool. So you guys notice I lost the dice roll against Prank Kid. I have no hand traps in my deck. I have no hand traps in my deck. And I lost a dice roll against Prank Kid. I won game one. All right. Well, let's see what's going to happen in game two over here, where he's obviously going to go first. And I have no hand traps. I'm, I'm obviously I'm not going to tell him that. I'm not playing hand traps because you don't need hand traps because Prank Kid dies to uh, blow, uh, blow out go second cards. He has the full setup here. He has right of air here and Prank Kid. So he's going to go off here. He did kind of sigh, which tells me he drew a bunch of Prank Kids and uh, not enough uh, hand traps. Maybe he has hand traps and it's a bluff. But at this point, I think he has a lot of prank kids in hand. And uh, so all I got to do is really out the board and maybe one hand trap. This is my assumption from uh, his body language and how he, he says stuff. I assume that's a twin twister. So now I'm going to out everything. In fact, I called by right away. Uh, he attempts to Griffin, I chalice. That's all you need. Just any two spells. Triple tactics. Effect. Boom. GG. That's it. That's over. He ashes. Oh, so he ashes the terraform or the place and our talents. And that's it. This is this game. Then now uh, I'm going to go into this. I'm going to bounce one of them. I'm going to special Griffin. He pandemoniums. I'm like, that's fine. Uh, he's going to get some cards out. And guess what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because I have two cards left in my hand, right? Prep. Souls. Souls. Draw. Of course, I'm going to draw a prank kid, which I did. No more prank kid. Boom. Chakalaka. And now if I draw Mighty Master at any point, look how good Mighty Master is right now. I make Selene with, with the Magician Souls. And I blow up his entire board. And then I bring out access code for a free sub. I bring out uh, souls again. It's just so good what the Endymion package does with the prank kid cards. Because you get free link twos for nothing. And you get free spells everywhere. And you have so much access to souls for Selene to be insane. Here I access code pop everything. And enter battle. Fusion destiny attack for game. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Guys that was a really close match. I'm facing my boy. Yo that was close as hell bro. That was really close. I gotta get my. I gotta win now. The next top four. Tell me a better combo than Triff and his phone dying. There's none. Here in this scenario, my phone is dead. But we're gonna fast forward to game number three. So I couldn't catch game one and two for you guys. We're gonna fast forward to game number three. He ghost mourners the effect here, and we're gonna be able to search this. This is fine. So I'm gonna go the effect of doodle lampsies, and now uh, I'm gonna set up my battle butler against him. Uh, pandemonium. 
uh, bring a bottle butler. I don't activate the effect because uh, of to summon anything. Because uh, I'm out of targets. I drew literally four prank kids in my hand, which is very unfortunate. I enter battle. He's super polys. Oh my god, bro. I fucking played so hard into super poly and I'm so disappointed. I should have should not have done that. I played so hard into that. And that literally cost me the entire duel. Playing super poly right there. It's still fine. It's not over yet. I need to try and climb into Axis Code Talker. I've done a lot of damage because I, I entered battle first before that. Talents draw. I need to draw something good here. And man, that's, I'm still rallying from that super poly. Time is of the essence. And I already did 4,000 damage. I just need to find a way to access code. I'll go right over Miss here. And at this point, I had a way. But I'm going to tell you guys, be honest. I, I ended up losing this duel, sadly. I had a way. But it was also in conjunction with... Like, I can't tell the future. I don't know what I was going to draw. Triple tactics. So it's not really a misplay. But I could have done a little better, I guess. Playing around talent. Uh, Polly, it is what it is. Yo, Matt, you played amazing there, bro. Oh, thank you so much, uh, <laughs> I, You know, I got to get my revenge when we play next. Oh, next time, man. Next time. I'll Sounds good. Animation. Let's go. Rematch. <laughs> Guys, we did what we could. Uh, the super poly. It was such an obvious super poly because he didn't get to play on his turn. He was just playing Brave Turbo. I should have known there was a super poly. Uh, I should have just... Ah... Uh, Guys, play around. If you're facing Despia and you see a set, literally automatically assume that shit's a super poly. Okay, don't even take the risk. And super poly fucking destroys Pendulum, destroys DPE, destroys our whole fucking deck. So, destroys Butler, destroys, like, literally, super poly is our ba the bane of our existence. It's like Droll of Pure Endemium. So, moving forward, guys, if you see a set against Despia, you pretend that shit's super poly.